Hey guys, welcome back to the Wall Street Bull. Anthony here. I hope you're all doing well and staying positive out there. It is never a dull moment in crypto, that is for sure. That is why I love doing daily market updates. Now, today is a very different video because I was thinking on my way to the office today, I uh, obviously wanted to do a video in relation to how people can actually make money in crypto. All right, I'm doing so many daily market updates, which I will do later this afternoon, but I wanted to do something different to actually show you the different ways you can generate cash flow because that's very important in this day and age. Anyway, I'm going to go through some interesting stuff that you can do with crypto, so make sure you stick around to the end of the video. Let's get straight into it. Massive shout out and thank you to every single one of you who have subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Now, if you are new to the channel, make sure you smash the subscribe button down there and turn on that little bell notification as well, because as you can see right here, I love documenting my journey with investing, with cryptos, dividend stocks, growth stocks, talking about passive income, building financial freedom, and of course, my goal at the end of the day is to build generational wealth. So come along in this incredible journey. Things are just getting crazy. Also, if you can give this video a thumbs up, watch it straight through. It would really help me push this channel out to a lot more people because the YouTube algorithm is absolute magic when you find ladies and gentlemen do that. So make sure you give it a good old thumbs up. It doesn't cost you anything. It's down there. Thank you very much. You guys rock. Also, a little disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. Please uh, do your own research and due diligence with this stuff. I do not want to see anyone get financially hurt. That is why my number one golden rule is I only invest what I can afford to lose. And yes, we don't like to lose. You can lose money like this that in the blink of an eye in crypto. So please be careful out there. Do your own research and due diligence. This video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the formalities are out of the way. Yes, today's going to be a very interesting video because again, I've, uh, you know, just wanting to do something that everyone can sort of explore and, uh, you know, experiment with themselves. Because again, I've been in this space since 2016 when I bought Bitcoin back then. And um, I've literally done everything to do with crypto. I've done trading, staking, uh, leverage trading, crypto bots. I've done uh, arbitrage bots. I've done, you know, staking USDT in these crazy platforms. I've been rugged. I've been scammed. I've done it all. So I'm just wanting to demonstrate uh, and explain what has worked for me and what I have personally experienced and uh, have seen the best returns for what I've done in this space. Anyway, so let's get straight into it. And again, I do put up all this stuff in my Patreon, by the way, like my what I'm actually doing. So I'm not selling courses or anything like that. I just put up all my trading and all this kind of tough stuff. So join the Patreon is linked below. But guys, I wanted to go through this. Now, I just found a general list, but ways to make money in crypto, all right? And before I get into any of this, I just want to make a point that before investing into any kind of asset, whether it's crypto, stocks, Forex, whatever it may be, Everyone should be starting to think of generating a side business for yourself to generate more income. It could be uh, an e-commerce business, selling products, buying and selling on you know Facebook Marketplace, whatever it may be. Uh, it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, you need money to invest. I don't care what anyone says. I mean, you can work for a wage, but obviously you're going to need that wage to supplement your life and pay the bills because they don't stop either, right? We all know this. So I suggest maybe starting an e-commerce business, find out what you're good at. You can make eBooks, you can make artwork. It doesn't matter what it is. It can be anything. So long as you're generating an income for yourself other than what your day job is or, uh, you know, it doesn't matter. Just generate more income for yourself because then you can use a percentage of that income to invest in the cryptos and blah, 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 so on and so on. This is basically what I do. Because again, you need a, a set income for yourself and then you need this supplemental income or a secondary income, which allows you to invest in these cryptos and stocks and whatnot. But anyway, that's point number one. That's like rule number one. But investing in crypto startups, all right? So obviously startups can be a great source of profits for investors willing to take risks. And by the way, there are heavy risks in crypto. You have to understand that. It's never always green and sunny and blue skies. It's you know, you're going to see some pretty crazy stuff. And I'll explain that in a moment. But uh, but by investing in early stage projects, investors can benefit from the huge returns that can be earned if the project tastes success. Now, obviously, there is the whole thing with ICOs. And uh, obviously, those of you who have done this before, you can invest in early startups or crypto projects right before they actually go public. And obviously, ICO Drops is a great, great platform, and there are many others out there which you can invest in projects before they go live to the public. There are very, a lot of requirements to do this. You have to go through a whole process. You have to end up you know, depositing money. There are risks involved with this stuff. But I mean, IC, ICO Drops is a great platform. I'm not paid to say this, but I'm just saying there are many uh, you know, initial coin offerings you can jump in before it goes public. That is one way to do it. I personally haven't done it. 
Uh, but I know a lot of people that have and have had some serious gains, but there is real risk there as well. So just keep that one in mind because once these projects are released, they can actually drop in value and everyone just loses their money. So just be careful with that. So that's the first one I wanted to show you. So you can invest in startups, right? Second one is trading cryptocurrencies. Now, just letting everyone know that I've traded cryptocurrencies before and it does require you to have technical knowledge, all right? So again, before you jump into any kind of crypto trading, that's just basically buying uh, and selling cryptocurrencies. You know, you can trade any kind of crypto, Bitcoin, Ethereum, whatever it may be, you can trade them basically on the price going up or down. You can long it or short it. Long basically means that the price is going to continue going up. Shorting it is basically when the market goes down. So you can make money going up or down. Or the alternative is, is neutral as well. But there is also another way to trade cryptocurrencies and that is using leverage. Now, I'm personally using bots to trade with leverage at the moment and that's where I'm seeing my most of my success, which is incredible. But basically, on certain platforms like Bybit and OKX and Binance to an extent, not in Australia, you will need a VPN on some of these things because some countries actually ban leverage trading. Now, obviously, for those of you who have no idea what leverage trading is, I'm going to explain it to you right now. But basically, what is this? So trading cryptos on other assets uh, with not your capital is known as leverage. All right. So this means that you are purchasing or selling power increases, allowing you to trade with more money than you can actually have right here. In some cases, clients can get up to 100 times their account balance. And the amount of leverage a trader can take solely depends on the cryptocurrency exchange. All right. So basically, each exchange has leverage trading as well. So I do not recommend leverage trading if you have no idea what you're doing because you can lose money like that. Literally, it goes in the blink of an eye. But so have a look at this. A ratio that represents the level of leverage such as 1 to 5, 5x, 20x or 50x displays the multi multiplicity of your starting capital. So say you opened a 10,000 USD position on some crypto asset with 1,000 USD in your exchange account, your 1,000 USD has the same purchasing power as 10,000 using 10x leverage. That's basically what it means. So crypto trading, you can trade cryptos um, and obviously educate yourself on technical analysis you know, get familiar with it, YouTube, a lot of technical analysis techniques, the indicators that you will need. Um, and again, just be careful on TikTok as well, because there's so much uh, BS out there. Just be very careful with that. So that's one way you can do is obviously trading cryptocurrencies. All right. So buying, selling, and obviously the other ones here, let's go through them now is crypto staking. Now, again, crypto staking is another way that you'll need uh, to earn income to buy the asset and stake it. I mean, that's what I'm saying, right? So you need to earn some extra income. But this is another way people can make money in crypto is basically staking, right? So all of these assets are basically the ones that you can stake on CoinSpot, you can see here. And obviously what this means is when you stake a cryptocurrency, for example, Axie Infinity, I'm staking that on that on uh, CoinSpot at the moment. There is a percentage that they pay you for assisting with the network. Now, obviously, those these percentages vary from different chains right here. And obviously, the you know Axie Infinity has got a forty five percent APY, which is annual percent percentage yield. So basically, you will get passive income uh, of forty five percent a year paid out in the cryptocurrency, mind you, as well. So everyone needs to bear in mind you can make passive income, but it is paid out in the cryptocurrency. So, for example, Axie Infinity pays out in Axie Infinity. Uh, you've got Polygon that pays out in Polygon. You've got Flow that pays out in Flow, Harmony One. So the prices will fluctuate and the rewards, they call them, basically for helping the network does fluctuate. But it's a great way to earn passive income. However, in doing this, you will need to have income to buy the asset more cash flow all right so that is one way now obviously you can check different platforms that each platform or exchange i should say has different rates that, that you get the rewards binance for example has lock up periods where you lock your funds um basically on the exchange on binance for a period of 90 to 100 days if not a year um and basically you can earn a higher yield now coinspot has a slightly lower yield here in australia um, and basically you can stake it and not have to worry about your coins being locked, which is something I like. But if you have a look at Binance, for example, uh, you can stake your Axie Infinity for 90 days. Uh, the max lock staking limit per user is three and standard annualized interest rate is 104%, which is crazy. Sheeb right there, you can earn 10.12, VeChain 7.3, Solana's at 12.12, AVAX 20%, Nears at 20%, Luna 16% right here, Cardano is 10% as well, Matic is 20% and Cake is 70%. 
But you know, this is crazy. But when you think about it, because all these banks and institutions are offering like maximum four percent if you lock your funds in a in a uh, a term deposit account right there for a year, they'll give you four percent. So again. The only downside to crypto staking is the fact that they're paid out in the crypto that you're staking and that price does fluctuate. So it's not like you're getting a guaranteed price return, if that's the that's what I'm trying to say. So there is that risk, but it's a great way to earn passive income in crypto. So that's another way right there. But moving on, mining crypto, I've done this as well. So there are platforms where you can sign up to register for a mining pool. Uh, you can purchase Bitcoin mining rigs. Um, there are other platforms that I've used before, which allow you to actually mine uh, crypto such as Cardano, Ethereum, all this kind of stuff. There are websites. I have put them on my channel before back you know, a couple of years ago, um, but there are ways you can earn passive income from mining. However, you need to keep in mind that the computer you're using or device will need to remain on in order for the program to mine the crypto. And if you're using a Bitcoin mining rig or a crypto mining rig in general, those GPUs or um, systems will use a significant amount of electricity. That does cost money. Money, all right, so keep that one in mind, but that is definitely another one right here. You can lend out your cryptocurrency as well. I do not recommend this. Uh, now, cryptocurrency lending is a popular way to make money in crypto by lending your digital assets to borrowers. You can earn interest on your holdings. Now, basically, what happened with that, I did that with BlockFi. Okay, so BlockFi was the one that went bankrupt recently because of the collapse of FTX. They basically lent your cryptos out for you and they gave you a percentage back on that crypto. It could be Bitcoin, stable coins, USDC or USDT. So when you're lending your crypto out, you are putting your capital, your crypto at risk. Uh, but I do not recommend doing that at the moment because there's a lot of chaos out there. Now, I just want to go back to staking as well. Those of you who have cold storage wallets, a Ledger, a Trezor, an Alipol, um, whatever else you're using, Trust Wallet even offers. So all of these cold wallets do offer staking as well. So you can stake within your crypto cold wallet, which is incredible because your crypto is secure, but you are staking it back on the network to earn passive income. There you go. Just another way you can do it. So obviously lending, I wouldn't recommend doing any lending because I've been caught out on that. Now, arbitrage uh, basically is the process of buying an asset in one market and selling it in another uh, to make a profit. Crypto arbitrage right now can be a great way to earn money in crypto, but it requires a lot of research and analysis. Now, in saying that, I have done that as well. As everyone knows, I've done a lot of arbitrage stuff and I even wanted to build out my own arbitrage trading platform. So basically, for example, if Coinbase is selling Bitcoin at like $25,000 $25, and Bybit's selling it for $30,000, just for an example's sake, right? You would buy it on Coinbase, sell it on Bybit for that higher price and keep the difference. That's arbitrage in a nutshell. So you can do that. It still is okay at the moment. You can make... A little bit of money in this, guys, but I don't recommend it because the, you know the prices are getting very similar to each each exchange right now. They're very very slight, so you will not make you know big gains. So arbitrage for me is sort of you know maybe three or four years ago you could do that, but not anymore. And basically there was a few uh, big big uh, exchange trading. I think it was Sam Bankman Fried actually, believe it or not, that actually made his most of his money from arbitrage back in the day. Basically he was able to buy. Uh, I think it was Bitcoin or something like that in the United States and sell it in Japan. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. And obviously, he was able to make an absolute bomb of money from that. So there you go. So that's another way is arbitrage. And obviously, you can see you can guys hit. So earning interest on stable coins, basically, that comes under the category of staking. So stable coins usually pay a very steady, you know, uh, I think it's like 4 or 8% or something like that a year. It's not that, you know, exciting, but it does provide that guaranteed return because stable coins do not move, they do not fluctuate um, like USDC or USDT. And again, you have to be very careful of where you're staking your cryptos as well. Do not go on some shady exchange that's offering some crazy yields. Binance, uh, Coinbase, you can even do it from, I believe, from your crypto wallets as well. So there you go. So if you've got money in stable coins, you can stake them on safe platforms. But just be aware, there are shady platforms out there that will guarantee you higher returns and it's absolute BS. So just be careful with that. You can do that. Now, the other way is masternodes. 
Now, obviously, guys, decentralized hosting that allows you to earn passive income from the cryptocurrency transactions, you need to invest a certain amount of coins to become a master node or receive rewards. And uh, these are just some ways that make money uh, every day in crypto. As the industry evolves, more opportunities will emerge to capitalize on the technology. With the right strategy, reliable platform and knowledge, anyone can make money in crypto space. However, finding reliable platform is not easy task. And that's truth. Now, with nodes, basically, I remember you could actually buy... Uh, for example, a, a node for Gala, um, that was a significant investment, like five or ten thousand dollars at the time. I believe that's gone crazy at the moment. Ethereum required you to have run an Ethereum node of thirty-two Ethereum, and uh, thirty-two Ethereum uh, at the moment is two thousand four hundred dollars. So two thousand, I believe it was thirty-two Ethereum. I think it was, yeah. So two thousand four hundred Australian dollars by thirty-two. That's going to require to about nearly seventy. 77,000 Australian dollars. So that is a lot of money. And uh, I even tried to start a node with Theta, believe it or not, as well. But that didn't go around very well. There were a couple of other um, coins that I tried to have a node with, but it just it just gets very complicated. Your computer needs to be on. If your computer is not on, basically, you will not get uh, rewarded with those uh, those nodes and basically get paid out in that crypto, pretty much. So nodes are another way to make money in crypto. Now, the last way that I have been most successful at in making money in crypto, all right, and this is no BS, I'm not making this up, is crypto trading bots, okay? Now, for me, I'm not very big on technical analysis. It takes a lot of time and knowledge and practice to master the art of, you know, crypto trading, Forex trading, uh, stock market trading. Uh, you know, this is the way that I basically have been mo the most successful, and that's using crypto trading bots. And basically, you're setting yourself up with a bot that buys and sells uh, either way the market goes, all right? So you can long the bot or you can short the bot. Now, I'm going to show you some interesting stuff. I was using three commas at the time, but I've stopped using that because they had some major issues with their uh, API keys and they got hacked and people's uh, crypto trading uh, accounts basically were hacked via the API keys. So I've now stopped using three commas. Um, their team has been quite difficult to deal with as well. I'm being honest with you. Uh, but I was using that for for, for many, many years. Uh, but again, I just wasn't too safe with the API key stuff right there. So I have moved uh, basically to OKX. Now, again, I put up all my, my crypto trading bots in the Patreon for OKX. This is where I trade. Um, and basically, I've got crypto bots set up here, which are freaking awesome, to be quite honest with you. And uh, trading bots right here. Sorry about that, guys. I've just got a small amount in here. But uh, I mean, look at this. I mean, crypto bots have been incredible for me. I've had some incredible returns right here. And if I can get to my crypto bots right now. Sorry, guys. Let me have a look here if I go to my futures. Basically, you can get returns of like 780%, 720%. Uh, you can see right here, uh, Sushi's got 624%, Chili's 394%, 371% for FTM USD Perpetual Futures current, uh, trading. So futures, I trade futures as well. Uh, but again, bots basically have been incredible. Basically, you can set a cross position. Now, this is what I wanted to show you guys. Sorry if I'm taking a bit long here, but cross or neutral uh, or isolated. Now, for those of you who don't know what that means, on Bybit, actually, if you have a look here, you can see here cross, you can see here, or isolated right now. Now, there are two very important things you've got to look at this right here, but isolated margin trading. So basically trading with leverage, but with crypto bots, all right? So an isolated margin is a margin assigned to the single position, aka Ethereum or Bitcoin paired with USDT. That's a position, right? Which cannot be shared across different positions. The main potential advantage of an isolated margin is that any margin deficiency or liquidation basically means you get your money wiped out if you go over the margin. When you get a margin call, excuse me, is that any margin deficiency or liquidation for a single position will not affect all other positions in the portfolio. This might be suitable for speculative and a highly leveraged position that a trader would like to monitor closely or have a higher degree of control over. That's an isolated margin. And a cross margin, in cro cro contrast, sorry, to an isolated margin, a cross margin allows a trader to share margin balances across different positions. I don't recommend this. Uh, so the access margin right here, equity in excess of margin requirement, which typically happens when there is a gain. All right, so from, uh, from one position can be effectively used to cover a margin deficiency, equity below the margin requirement, which typically happens when there is a loss. 
which happens quite a lot with leverage trading if you don't know what you're doing. From another position, and the main benefit of cross margin is that in some instances, it could potentially help prevent margin calls and forced liquidation of losing position right here. So you can have either of these options when you're using a crypto trading bot, uh, which is incredible as well. So sorry, guys, let me just log in here. Uh, I can't actually see my positions right now, but I'd, I'd really like to do this, but I don't know how what, what's happened here. But anyway, guys, I do apologize about that, but oh, here we go. So effectively, the way I set up my trading bots, okay, is obviously I'm using leverage at the moment and a neutral position. So I'm, I'm using these bots as when they go, you know, up or down with the market and the price. I've had a 14% on return, 55, uh, obviously, USD return, which is, again, it's not a massive position. Uh, but my initial is 373 USDT. Uh, which is quite expensive in Australian dollars, mind you. But you can see here, my liquidation price right now is 789 USDT. That's a price for Ethereum. So it would have to go down to 789 USDT for Ethereum. Now, obviously, the price of Ethereum right now is trading at 1600 and uh, sorry, 1643 Okay, so again, it's going to require it to go down to $789 before I get liquidated, which is very unlikely unless the market absolutely crashes, but we'll see what happens. But... In saying that, guys, basically crypto bots have been the best way that I've earned passive income because when the market is going up or down and it's sideways, if the price moves up and down, basically works on a grid pattern. So the grids, you can set up grids, basically, uh, you can see how I've got 60 grids. You can set up up to a maximum of 150. And uh, obviously, when the market goes neutral, it's buying low, selling high, buying low, selling high, et cetera, et cetera. And it's selling high, buying low. Just that's how it works with crypto bots, and I've seen the best return for that. So again, bots, incredible. Now, the last thing, obviously, is buying and holding crypto assets, all right? And uh, that's basically a no-brainer. This is probably the best way for people to get involved in crypto. It's not financial advice, but you basically buy a crypto asset and you hold it. That's it. Wait for the price to go up, sell at the high, or take profits on the way up. That is just the most simple and easiest way to make money in crypto, all right? So I've, I've literally tried everything I have done obviously all of this stuff that I've mentioned to you guys, apart from the ICOs, which again, I think is just too complicated. But in reality, buying and holding crypto assets is the best way to get those gains. Nobody's ever gotten like rich. And I, I you know, I've seen so many influencers just promoting trading and this and that. Yeah, you can make money. Like, you know, you can make good money if you know what you're doing and you're, you're well practiced with this stuff with uh, using technical analysis. But for the average person that's getting into cryptocurrencies, buying and holding, waiting for the price to go up is the absolute best way. My Bitcoin has basically gone up so much. I wish I had bought more, but I didn't have the capital at the time. Uh, but basically, I just bought Bitcoin and held it and it's just gone up in price. That's it. That's the most easiest way to make money in crypto, uh, obviously. But the most important thing out of all of this, guys, is to generate additional income to invest. So maybe look at, I might look at starting a, a thing in the Patreon for people to start an e-commerce business for themselves to make internet money because it's so easy to do. It really is. Even with the help of artificial intelligence right now, it's incredible, but uh, makes things a lot easier uh, to make money online. And I think everybody should have the uh, option and uh, the tools and the access to all of this because it's very important because people do need that additional income. But anyway, thanks very much for sticking around, guys. I will be doing a video later on today. I uh, appreciate every single one of you. And I just wanted to demonstrate some ways you can make money in crypto in 2023 and beyond. All right, guys, stay safe. I'll speak to everyone later on this afternoon. Peace out. Bye.